Hello, this is Kit Cabello with Veracity and Defiance, and we are here in City Hall. I'm joined here today with Vanessa Foley. All right, Vanessa Foley, what is actually happening here, uh, and what can our viewers learn more about? Um, I am a parent of a daughter with autism. She went from early intervention into the blended uh, pre-K. She had an IEP for three years in pre-K and when she was transitioning into a regular gen ed kindergarten class, she was denied her IEP. Um, she is continuing to be denied her IEP and at the eligibility meeting for her, um, the network person was there and before we even had a chance to argue the reasons why my child should have an IEP, she was denied it even before we walked in the door. And, um, what have other parents who have children who have like special needs, what, what have they been battling against? Have you been in open communication with uh, other uh, parents as well? Yes, I've been in a lot of communication with other parents. Um, IEPs aren't being followed. Um, children are being denied IEPs and being told to go to 504s. Um, and you're told that your child has to fail in order to get services. All right, and last question, because I see people rallying together. Uh, what words do you want to share with Rahm Emanuel? My daughter deserves to succeed. My daughter needs an IEP. My daughter is not, she has autism, but she's more than her disability. Provide them the services that they should be getting so that they can we have, succeed. Uh, a parent, uh, Vanessa Fowley, uh, who will speak. My name is Vanessa, last name Fowley, F-A-W-L-E-Y. Um, I have a kindergartner with autism and anxiety. Um, she has been denied an IEP. She had an IEP for three years when she was in pre-K. The network office has been putting pressure on schools to deny IEPs to save money. CPS also denies appeals from schools for more funds so that they took from gen ed to fund special ed. You lied. You're not giving them the money that they're appealing for. When a child like my daughter is denied IEP, it hurts the students, it hurts the gen ed teacher, and it hurts the 31 kindergartners that are in her class. Because my daughter does not have an IEP or special ed to meet her needs, she has begun to scratch herself till she bleeds. She hates going to school, and she does not know how to properly express her emotions or communicate her needs. You don't have enough special ed teachers, OTs, social workers, or paraprofessionals. CPS continuously violates the Disabilities Act by denying those who need IEPs with them. One social worker who has to go to three schools, one OT for three schools, how are they supposed to adequately provide for those caseloads? 15 minutes of social work is not enough. New Trier has 30, 20 counselors in one school. Hey, Claypool and Rom. How many counselors are at your children's school? <laughs> Mr. Claypool, I'm going to quote you. All our children want to succeed. It's our job to make sure they can. Really? How about using TIF money to fund the 600 vacant special education positions? Do your job. You say that. I want my daughter and those like her to succeed. Do something about it. Enough is enough. Right.